A paralyzed patient moves his fingers for the first time in years using his mind. Okay, and so you're going to think about opening your hand. Okay, and I'll hand you the spoon, and then uh, the software will help you go through the rest of the sequence of rotating and then letting go of the spoon. Okay, awesome. An ocean dive in 2010 left Ian Burkhardt paralyzed. When I dove in and hit, I didn't really think anything of it. But I had this instantly like numbness feeling. And I knew something was wrong because when I tried to move, I couldn't. And later you went to the doctor, and, and what did they tell you? They told me that I had severed my spinal cord at a C5, C6 level. Um, I would most likely never walk again. Um, the chance of using my hand and fingers again were very slim. In the three years since the accident, Ian had to relearn how to drive, text, even watch his friends on the lacrosse field, all with limited wrist movement. But the rest of his body remained paralyzed until Neurobridge. Ian became the first patient in a groundbreaking study. Doctors from Ohio State University teamed up with engineers from tech company Battelle for a three-hour surgery that could change his life. If it all went well, Ian would be able to move his fingers using his mind. And then for the first time since he dove into the ocean that day. Three, two, one. That's cool. That's good. What do you think? An impossible thought hinged on tech that took a decade to play out. The study involves uh, placing a small microchip, a micro sensor, uh, on the part of the brain called the motor cortex. It's essentially the part of the brain that controls the movements. And this microchip is connected with wires, and then we can plug that into a computer, an external computer that allows us to link the brain signals from Ian's mind by thinking about movements. Called NeuroBridge technology, it decodes brain activity, bypassing Ian's severed spinal cord. We've developed uh, a special uh, piece of technology that we call the sleeve that actually allows uh, us to pinpoint individual muscle segments that actually control uh, finger movement and we can actually isolate each finger and help each finger move. I really had always thought that you know with being so young when I was injured that science and medicine would progress at some point in my lifetime and have some sort of advance for me but I never thought it would be this soon or really that I'd be a, a part of it. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, Columbus, Ohio.